Welcome to our tutorial about retaining variables. In this tutorial, we're going to store and retrieve data using the load and pre-render events. First, let's create an interface. I'm going to use two buttons and two text boxes. This text box we'll call txt2. And this text box will be txt1. The first button we'll name btn save. The second button we'll call btn load. And let's change its caption also. Now let's go to code view and select a page event. Let's select load. First, let's declare a variable. Something like my var as string. Next, my var equals view state and the key will be my text. On the load event procedure, we're going to load data stored in the view state into my var. Next, let's use page pre render. View state, my text equals my var. We need to write some code now for the save and load buttons. Here we've got my var equals txt1.text. Next, let's select btn load. We're going to load the variable stored in my var into the text property of text box 2. Let's type one more line of code. It'll notify the user that the text got saved. Let's make it simple. Something like text saved. Basically, we're saving the variable sender to the view state when the page render event occurs. And then we retrieve it when the page load event occurs. Now let's try running our program to see how it works. Our page loads. Let's type my text and click save. The message appears, text saved. Now let's click the load button. The text is loaded in the second text box. If this doesn't make too much sense yet, don't sweat it. Just keep moving on with the course. Take it at face value because it's going to fall into place soon. This concludes our tutorial about retaining variables.